Okay, welcome to lesson 2.3 on understanding numbers. Today we're going to look at what are called multiples. Now, uh, according to the objectives of Alberta Learning, you are to identify multiples and common multiples, and then you have to be able to solve problems involving both of these things. So let's get started. To get a multiple, you start at a number, and then you count by that number again and again and again by adding that number. We call that skip counting, and you're not, uh, you are very familiar with skip counting. So let's start with something really simple first. What I'd like you to do, I'd like you to, to provide the first 10 multiples of 2. So I want you to start at 2 and skip count by 2 for 10 numbers. Now you should end at 20 because 10 times 2 is 20. So pause the recording and write those down. Okay, so these are the numbers you should have got. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Now these are not all the multiples of 2. These are just the first 10. There are an infinite number of multiples of 2. They go on to infinity, so you're never going to be able to list them all. So you'll always be asked uh, to give just a bunch of them, or sorry, a limited number of them. Okay, let's look at a problem then involving multiples. A radio station offers a special prize for people who call in. Every sixth caller will receive a free ticket to a concert by a local band. So you've got a chart here, and what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to shade in the callers who will win the tickets. Now that's going to be starting at 6 the sixth caller, and then every six callers after that. So you're going to be skip counting by six, and you're going to be counting and, and shading every sixth caller in. So pause the recording and shade in your chart. Okay, your chart should look like this. And you'll notice I've got each one of the six multiples of six shaded in slightly. So the question you're asked is, write all these numbers down, and you should have had 6 through 96 and the multiples of, 30, of, uh, of 6. So these are the people who are going to win um, a ticket to, the, to the, uh, the concert. So what is this called? Well, this, called is, this, this here list is called the multiples of 6. Now, which one is the least? And that's going to be the 6. Now, finding the least multiple, least common multiple, is actually important because we're going to use that in fractions when we're adding and subtracting fractions. So identifying the smallest multiple is important. Okay, so the radio station goes a little bit further and says that they want to decide who, they want to make the contest even better and decide that one out of every of the eight callers will receive a free CD to the band, uh, from the band. So on the same chart I just did to you, that you just had, I want you to mark every multiple of eight but I want you to take and do it in a separate way so you can tell which ones are multiples of 6 and which ones are multiples of 8 because they will double up. Okay, so pause the recording and shade in the diagram. Okay, this is what your diagram should look like. And you'll notice that I've got shaded in and I've got bold. I did the eights, the, every eighth caller, the multiple of 8 in bold, and I did uh, shaded the square in for every caller who is... Um, every sixth caller. Now you'll notice that the first one here, 24, that's both bold and shaded. So this is referred to as a common multiple. So this person will win, the 24th caller, will win both uh, a CD and tickets to the band to go to the concert. And you'll, notice, you'll notice that 24, 48, 72, and 96 are the only doubled up ones which are shaded and bold. These are called the multiples of, or sorry, the, the, basically the common multiples and they are also multiples. And if you can identify the smallest one, 24, the list of common multiples will be the multiples of 24. So you'll see you just skip count by 24 to get the common multiples. So you can see who's going to win a free CD here. These are the multiples of 8. And you'll also notice that when you have both, they win both a free ticket and a CD. So this list is 24, 48, 72, and 96. And these four numbers that I've got are called common multiples. Now there are an infinite number of them, but we're only working with the 100 chart, so you only need to get to the 96. Which one of these is the least? Well, that is called the 24, the one right there. And it's called the least common multiple, and again, it's important for adding and subtracting fractions later. Okay, moving on. Bob visits the library every three days starting on the third day. Michaela visits the library every fourth day starting on the fourth day. Brett visits the library every sixth day starting on the 6th. Which of the days of February will they all meet at the library? Well, first thing you know what you have to do is you have three people, so you can't really bold and, uh, and do shading. So what I did is I got a calendar here underneath here, and just like you do, but I made a, 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 a thing over here called a, a legend. So what I'm going to do is when every day that Michaela's there, I'm going to put a little heart. 
And every day that Brett's there, I'm going to put a little star. And every day that Bob's there, he's going to get a blue check mark. So I want you to go through this calendar that you've got in front of you. And I want you to check or put a heart on every day that Michaela's there, a star every day that Brett's there, and a check mark every day that Bob's there. So let's pause the recording and fill out this chart. Okay, so this is what your chart should look like. And you'll notice that I've got Michaela, sorry, Bob starts on the 3, and he's doing the multiples of 3. So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, and 27. Brett's doing the multiples of, and you see Brett meets every 6th day, so Brett's going to be doing the multiples of 6. 6 times 1, 6 times 2, 6 times 3, and 6 times 4. And of course, Michaela is doing the multiples of 4 because she's there every 4th day, so 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 28. Now you'll notice there's some days where um, Brett and Bob show up together. There's also days when uh, um, they all show up together, uh, all three of them. You'll notice there's a heart tucked underneath this, this star right here. It's kind of hard to get to. but Okay, so the days that Bob will be at the library will be the 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20, 1st, 24th, and 27th. List the days that Michaela will be there, and there are the days that Brett will be there. So on what days in February will they all meet together? Well, you're looking for a place where you're going to find a, st uh, a star, a heart, and a check mark. And you'll notice that happens on the 12th and on the 24th. So these are the two days that the all, uh, all three people will be at the library. That what is the first day they meet? That's the, 20, the 12th, sorry, and that's called the least multiple, least common multiple. Okay, next example. Now, I want you to fill out, see if you can do this one without my help, okay? So, uh, pause the recording and do all of this together and find the first 10 common multiples uh, in order to finish this off. All right, well, the first 10 multiples of 2 are easy, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, etc. The first 10 multiples of 3, they're also easy, 3, 6, 9, 12, etc. What are the common multiples? Now, go through your list and find the ones that are in both lists. You'll notice that there's a 6 here, a 6 here a 12 and a 12 and an 18 and 18. So the ones that are in the actual list are 6, 12, 18, and 24. Now, um, 3 is 24, but I don't have the list going far enough to get the multiples of 2 to 24, but you would see there'd be 22 and 24. So the second one not shown here would be the 24. You'll also notice that I'm finding the multiples of 6, 6, 12, 18, and 24. So the first co 10 common multiples will be the multiples of 6. And there are the first 10 multiples of 6. Do you have to write down all 2 and 3 all the way to 60 to get them all? The answer to that is no. Once you've identified the smallest, the, the least common multiple, which is the 6, you can just start skip counting by 6. Now be very careful to make sure you get the smallest one. If you missed the 6 here and took the 12, then your common multiples would be 12, 24, 36, 48, and so on, and it would not be the correct list of 6, 12, 18. You'd be missing every second one. So you don't have to write them down, but make sure that you actually are correct when you identify the first one. Okay, turn the page. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a Venn diagram to show not only the multiples, but the common multiples. So when you draw a Venn diagram, it's pretty straightforward. It's two overlapping circles. And on the left-hand side, we're going to have the multiples of 6. And on the right-hand side, we're going to have the multiples of 9. So multiples of 6 are numbers that 6 divides into evenly. And multiples of 9 are numbers that 9 divides in in evenly. So I want you to take the list that's there, these numbers right here, and I want you to put them in either place. This is 6 only, this is 9 only, and in the middle is both 6 and 9. These are going to be your common multiples, all right? So pause the recording and fill out these three uh, areas on the Venn diagram. Okay, first off, we'll start with the numbers that are divisible by 6 only. That is 6, 24, 30, 42, and 48. The numbers that are divisible by 9 only... These are 9 and 27. And the ones that are divisible by both 6 and 9, these are 18, 38, and 54. Um, and there's a problem there. That's supposed to be a 36 there, not a 54, okay? It's a typo. That 36 there was supposed to be a 36 here. So just make sure you change your notes. Okay, if there's no questions, well, you can't ask them anyway, I guess. So um, if you have any problems, go back and rewatch the video. And if not, come in and see me, and I'll try to help you as much as I can. All right, so these are your common multiples. So... See you next time.